All right, it's, the floor is open. Well, this, you've won Bosi Cup before, you've won the Curry Cup as an assistant. What's this like? And Morgan, this is special. Um, <clears throat> it's something I dreamt about as a kid. Um, the first rugby game that I watched on TV was the 1976 final between uh, Free State and Western Province. And since then, I've been a, a Free State supporter. So to be um, in this position, to win, the, to win the Curry Cup as the coach of this team that I've been supporting since 74, 73, thereabout, it's really special to me. And one almost got a sense that during the match, there were times where the females were three under the clock bars, were pretty calm, cool, and collected throughout this final. And it's probably seen it times we've got quite a lot of yeah, we, we are lucky to have good leaders on the field in that last 10 minutes. We had guys like John Dre Rudolph and Robert Eberson as well with Victor and Ruan. So uh, they made good decisions. They kept the guys calm. And it was something that was important to us. Um, last year, we, we made some mistakes in the last 10, 12 minutes and we lost the semi-final. Um, and this year, we, we kept our, our nerves and um, executed what we wanted to do well in the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. And the crowd came up... Sporting tonight, um, especially and, as lights went on next to the field, just something very different. Yeah, it was really special. I took a video with my cell phone at that time because there was a break on the field and I couldn't believe it. So it's something I'll, I'll keep with me for the rest of my life. Um, the people of Bloom, when they get behind you, they really support you, and we are thankful for their support tonight. And glad that we could pay them back earlier in the Curry Cup. We didn't win our own games against the, the Lions and the Sharks. So we let them down, but I think uh, they, they've forgiven us for, for that tonight. So um, we're all happy and, and all smiles, and it's yeah, great to be here. Ja, um, Cohen's drie was belangrijk voor ons om ons niets voor te krijgen. Ons hele focus was daarop om voor te komen. Jullie Pumas is een gevaarlijke span verleden week. Tien die Sharks 12-0 voor binnen een paar minuten en die Sharks kon niet rechtig al van recover nie. Um, en dit is hoe hulle is, hulle begin wedstrijde baie goed en aan sy onderdruk en so en so ons gebeet wat ons moet doen. En dit was, dit was een belangrike drie, maar jy weet, het begin by een goeie rolmalbeweging van die voorspelers, hulle achterspelers ingetrek en backs mooi geëxecute, maar um, die net na rustheid, die eerste 10 minuut het ons op trein net vir die regie afskop misgevang en ons in ons gebied geblei en die Pumas weer kans gegeen om terug te kom in die wedstrijd. Maar ja, ons het mooi kop gehou die laaste 15, 20 minuten. Nee, ek het baie vertrouwen in die span gehad van vanavond, so ek het, ek het er erg nie verlede jaar so spoke weer gesien nie. Ek het geweet, ons is recht om het, om die wedstrijd te kan klaus, soos hulle in Engels sê, en um, ons het baie geleentede gehad, waar die bal daar ook nie vir ons recht gespring het, nie skopies achter hulle in, wat die ding recht op op in plaas van voor en toe, whatever, maar dit is goed wat gebeur, jy kan het nie beheer nie, maar as het recht gespeel, die druk op hulle gesit, baie goed verdedig, en ons pak voorspelers het, het hulle kant gebring in die vaste facette. Dit was nie altyd champagne, dat Ja, dit is maar wat belangrijk is in een eindstrijd. Dus jy speel eindstrijd om om te wen, jy speel nie en om om mooi raak nie te speel nie. En um, die manier hoe jy dit gewen moet kry, met jou sterkpunte gebruik en ons het een goeie pak voorspelers, ons het een goeie kicking game met Rohan wat op 10 is en um, Rewan op 9. So ons het besluit, weet in ons verdediging is ons sterkpunt, so as ons in hulle helft te speel, hulle forceer om van achteraf te probeer haar kloop kansen te vat, dan um, sal het vir ons weer geleentheer is kip, so dit was maar deel van die plan. It was. Um, they are really good from counter-attack and turnover position and they tend to keep the ball alive, offloads and stuff, so uh, they nearly scored a try just before, in, in the first half, early in the first half, I thought they were gone. It was great defence by Bjerki and Ruan. To, to shut them down on our 22, and I think they started close to their 22. So the Pumas are a dangerous side, well coached, and uh, and a really good bunch of players. So um, they recruit well, they coach well, and they play well. So it's, uh, they are tough opponents, and that's why they were in the finals two years in a row. It's compliments to them. I know you're not administrator, but can you tell us what this means for the stage? 
Yeah, for, for Free State Rugby, we've gone through um, dark times in the last four years. Especially, I don't know if I brought the bad luck, hopefully it changes tonight. But since 2019, things went a bit against us. Um, we were, first was COVID, then kicked out of pro rugby, all those stuff that everyone knows. And we we were still fighting and we can also just thank Teota for staying close to us and, and supporting the Cheetahs. Uh, still sponsoring us through these times, and they they never left us. So they we we all need to to thank them as well, and our management. Um, everyone from the top down worked really hard to to get um, a game like this, and, and for the team, the players, all the effort that they put in uh, during this last eleven months. I mean, we started last year after that semi final defeat um, in July, and. Um, we worked really hard from there to get to where we are now, and we we um, seen the dividends tonight. Did the success like this do for your European credentials? I mean, again, the EPCR of the game put out two invitation teams, but mm-hmm. actually mentioning who will play. But what does a success like this to, to send out a message? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I hope that we will be there again. We enjoyed uh, playing in the European Challenge Cup and it meant a lot to us, to the team, to the coaches. We all um, picked up a lot of experience in those conditions, how to play and, and I think our conditioning as well. We we focused on, on the European Challenge Cup, got the guys stronger um, to, co- to be able to compete there. So I think we uh, stood our ground qualifying for the last round of 16 and hopefully... They want us to play in that competition again um, the coming season. Obviously, um, mentioning that our Revan kid that's really good his opportunity the last month or so, how much has he improved over his past three four months? I must say, uh, Revan played very well. Um, he's quick to the breakdowns, his pass is really accurate, his kicking game is picking up, he's working on that. I think playing with Ruan, he got a lot of confidence. And Ruan is a hard worker. He's here every afternoon or after every training session, practicing his box kicks, his passes. He's a he's a guy that serves the team. Um, if anyone else wants to do something, Ruan will be the guy that passes to him or kick the balls back or whatever. So, um, true cheetah man, and I'm really glad for him that um, I watched him since school, and um, I thought his his career was going downwards, and then. And at the time, he was without a contract. Um, he played for Shimlas in the Varsity Cup, and we pulled him in, I think, in the Toyota Challenge two years ago, and since then, he never looked back. And never much hard work. Got any plans for the, the holiday? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the Kruger again. Last year, it was to sulk and to get over the last. This year, it's to be to celebrate with my family. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's a place that's really close to my heart, and um, I will this year relax and enjoy it from day one. Last year, at the tenth day, my wife said to me, "Obviously, oh, uh, you look like the husband that are married now." And then the next day, we had to go home. So it took me a long time, but this year I'll enjoy it from Friday up to the 13th of July. I was crammed up there. Talk of it was particularly 39 year old bunch of next week. And in a big game, he was big game. Yeah, I mean, that's what you get from Ruan. Um, when uh, we we played pro rugby, some of the, the media people over, uh, over there asked him about his BMT and about his involvement in the game. And that was three years ago, and he's still going. Um, He's probably the hardest worker in our team at that age, and that's why he can still play rugby at a high quality. Um, he's he's an unbelievable person and and rugby player and father for his his kids as well. So um, privilege for us to to have the experience and the quality of Ron Pinar and Ascot. <laughs> um, Jan, any questions from your side? Yeah, thank you, um, Arvis, uh, you, you touched on that you're going to the Kruger now. Uh, um, what, what is uh, ahead for the Cheetahs? I know you said earlier that you're also looking at the, uh, or hope for an invite to the Challenge Cup again. Uh, what is the plans for the rest of the year for the Cheetahs? Hey, and we'll go on a four-week break. Um, we'll start at the end of July again, and then we play the Western Force, two games in Bloom, two in Perth. That will be end of August, uh, beginning of September, we'll play in Bloemfontein. And then end of September, beginning of October, we'll play in Perth. So we'll look forward to that. It will be great to measure ourselves against uh, a super rugby team again. 
Um, I watched the Super Rugby final this morning, high quality, and um, we look forward to play the force. And then um, I don't know when those two invitees will be nominated, but uh, we're holding thumbs that one of those will be the Cheetahs and that will compete in the European Challenge Cup again in December, January next year. So, so you definitely, uh, apart from the force games, are you playing the Toyota Challenge again? That will be part of the Toyota Challenge, if I understand it correctly. So um, the Toyota Challenge this year, because of the World Cup, it's difficult to get other teams in and, and things like that. So I think the Toyota Challenge will be the games against uh, the force. Thank you very much. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do. We've got some questions. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.